August 2nd, 2012, marked the beginning of fall camp at the University of Mississippi. The offseason brought a great deal of change to Ole Miss, and head coach Hugh Freeze represents a new beginning. I do believe wholeheartedly that you can get it done here, and I refuse to think any other way, and the guys that I have with me believe that also. Um, recruiting, that's going to help. You, you've got to recruit uh, better. And, uh, and get the guys that fit with you. But in the meantime, we're not gonna sit here and, and, and allow someone to, uh, to not buy in and be a vital part of this team. Reach down deep and give us your real thoughts on quarterback. Um, if I talk to Paul a lot, he's very, very impressed with the shape that uh, Barry is in. He's really impressed with his work ethic. Not that Bo did not work hard, but uh, Barry looks like a million bucks right now. You know, he looks he looks good. Um, I think Bo has an advantage in the mental side of what we're trying to do right now, and the timing of things. I think Barry could be an athletic guy that could help us uh, if we're struggling in some protections. Maybe make some plays for us that Bo couldn't. Um, which one is going to be the the best for us? It's hard to say right now. All right. Big time. Barry, Thank you. New <laughs> Here we go. Three claps for Riddick. Riddick. Hey, I know it's been uh, it's been a, a tedious day, but uh, now we're getting down to where we all want to go do, and that's uh, prove that uh, you got yourself in better shape. You're more physical. We talk about win the day, we post it all in your locker room and everywhere you go. There will be no victory on September the 1st without winning each day. It won't happen. The guys that interviewed you today all complimented you, said they're starting to, they're starting to change. This is different. It's different than it was last year. They, they had a little different sense. They were more humble. They, that's good. That's what we need. But you can be humble and you can be confident. You can be humble and you can have a swagger. And we've got to go out with that humbleness and treat others better than we tr tr think of ourselves. But when we hit that field, we've got to have a swagger about us, a confidence, a belief in each other that we can change what you were known for last year. We can change that. The season Old Miss football is brought to you in part by FedEx, proud supporter of the Old Miss Rebels. FedEx, solutions that matter. Regions Bank, proud sponsor of the SEC. One Mississippi, your health insurance marketplace. One Mississippi, count me in. C Spire, personalized wireless. Allstate, are you in good hands? The Mississippi Department of Transportation, make Mississippi proud. Pick it up, Mississippi. And by Kroger, visit the themillionmillschallenge.com or text HUNGER to 66856 to help feed the hungry in our state. How am I supposed to sell you guys as the most dangerous band in the world when you're seen schlepping golf clubs through the airport? But we love golf. No. As far as your fans know, you are only capable of hate. I don't hate golf. From now on, I'm shipping your clubs with FedEx right to the golf course. Now learn how to trash a hotel room. Get some water for those flowers. Let FedEx Office pack and ship your club's luggage and more. FedEx, solutions that matter. A home improvement project takes patience, but getting the right loan for it doesn't have to. At Regents, you'll get an answer in about 30 minutes. So whether you're updating your kitchen, adding a bathroom, or putting in your own private oasis, nobody helps you borrow smarter than Regents. Home equity loans, personal loans, even auto loans. In case you want to fix up the garage. Hey, honey. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay, it's cool. Fine with it. Little piece of me just died. Hi, I'm Mississippi Insurance Commissioner Mike Cheney. I believe that competition brings out the best in all of us, whether on the gridiron or in the marketplace. I also believe in a competitive free market solution for providing health insurance products to individuals and business owners in our state. That solution is One Mississippi, your health insurance marketplace. For more information, visit OneMississippi.com or contact your local insurance agent. One Mississippi. Count me in.
as the hot August sun beats down on the practice fields outside of Vaught Hemingway Stadium, the Ole Miss Rebel football team is starting over with new schemes and a new tempo. Known for his high-powered and fast-tempo offense, Coach Freeze is faced with the challenge of teaching his philosophies in a short period of time. If we run those pumps and they come wide open, put it on them. Don't make it hard. Hold, hold, no, go again. Discipline, let's go. Go. Slip it, good. 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 Celebrate. You gotta, you gotta trust that receiver that he's gonna fight for it. Yes, sir. It's either you decide with his back shoulder over the top, but give him a chance. Right. Don't throw it out of bounds. Oh, hit it! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Thought that uh, the little break you've had from your summer workout showed a little bit this morning. You didn't bounce back from last night with the same pop in your step. Uh, it wasn't bad. I thought your attitudes were great. Thought you were very coachable, which is is good. Um, but we got to have more pop when we get on the field. The thing is, right off the bat, you can see the safety rolling off. And see, on the field, it looks a little bit late, but I'm looking at your feet. It's one, two, three, gone. You know, your left foot is swinging a little bit. We'll see on the tight copy, but that's the timing I want. Let's see how he's running. Even though this guy jumps it, it's incomplete, isn't it? We'll take that. That's a, that's a good decision right there, good throw. I'll never complain about that. If you're a little bit late with it, just one tiny bit late, that thing's going the other way. What about right here, what do you think? Just looking at it right here, you've already decided you're going to the run back. Let's see the timing on your feet, let's see. Oh, one, two, three. You think you could have hung on this a little bit, Bo? And again, you know me, I'm not gonna tell you to sit there and hang on throws, but look at the whole middle of the field. We know that he's gonna beat that. Now, if that guy were sitting right there, I'd say, forget it, let's come on over here. Now, the thing is, that drill wasn't bad, was it? I mean, we've got a bunch of completions and you guys are making good decisions. We've gotta get that to carry over now to our team drills. The quarterback position is key on any offense, but with the fast-paced style of offense that Hugh Freeze brings to the table, it is even more so. Well, we've made great strides. I mean, you got to understand, when we first came in, our guys didn't know what a right set meant. So uh, we've got all our formations in, we've got all our plays in, so we're so far ahead of where we were when we first started. Now we can actually start teaching the finer points about how to run a route, not just this is the route that you run in this certain play, or when you're blocking this guy, uh, make sure that's the guy you block. Now it's here's how you block that guy. Well, right now you've got Barry Brunetti and Bo Wallace are basically fighting for the starting job. And both those guys feel comfortable with it. Uh, we have had very few mental mistakes, which is the big thing that you'll see when things are going fast. If, if you're going real fast and there's a lot of chaos basically going on around you, sometimes it scatters your brain a little bit. But our guys have, have really figured it out and know where to go with the ball and uh, where to direct the line because they do have to tell everybody what to do at the line of scrimmage. Like your thought game was going to prepare to spring? Uh, I, I'm just more comfortable. I've been around the guys a lot more. Uh, I've been around the offense. Uh, it just goes back to being consistent every day. It's uh, something I, that I, I need to do a better job on to, um, you know, to win the job. Yeah, you feel like you're making like any separation? I, I feel like I, I feel like I am. I, I don't really want to think about it that way. I just want to, you know, be the better the best quarterback that I can be. I'm not really looking at it as I'm competing against Barry. It's just trying to be the best I can be. It's weird, you know, you look at it as if somebody was coming to take your job, you you know, you probably wouldn't be friends with them, but you know, you're on the same team, so you're gonna be friends. And I think it's just, it's healthy competition. You're out there, you're competing with each other, and it's just only gonna make you better. At the end of the day, I mean, you're on that field, you're competing for that three to four hours, two to three hours of that time on the field. and. Um, I mean, you're still friends on the field, but you know you're all going for that one spot. And that's one thing about the quarterback competition. It's the focal of, the, of everything. It's the leader. I mean, whoever gets that job, that's where all the eyes are going to be on. It's kind of not like it's, it's different from a D-lineman competition 
with a quarterback competition, I mean, it's, it's kind of like nine day because that's your quarterback. That's who's going to lead you out there. That's who's going to lead you out there in the fourth quarter. And uh, at the end of the day, we don't try to let that affect our friendship off the field. I mean, but we know we're going for that one job and that competitive nature on the field, but it don't affect our friendship off the field. Uh, I would say we kind of similar. We both guys who can, I mean, believe it or not, who can run and throw. And, uh, uh, I mean, both smart kids. It's not like, well, I mean, you know, we know what's going on out there on the field. I mean, as always, you can have that, that difference between uh, when you have a 6'4 prototype size quarterback going, competing versus a six foot do or three guy as you compose and uh and then you always have some difference in that. I mean we both can like I said we both can make plays with our legs, try to uh when there's nothing there, uh make some out of nothing. And uh I really I can't really find too many differences besides like the, the size and and a lot of things and I won't get me wrong, I he knows the offense a little, a little bit better right now. Uh, he has a almost, I mean, I guess spent the year on it with the offense. So, I mean, but that that's more of a that's more of a uh, an edge, and that's more of a a motivation for me to even learn even more every day. You know, you get a chance to compete in the, the best conference in America. Um, you know, I wasn't fortunate enough coming out of high school to play in the SEC. So, you know, I was in the Sun Belt watching SEC teams play on Saturdays after our game and just dreaming that I could, you know, be in the SEC. So, I mean, it's just a really a dream come true to, to be able to play in this conference. I want to be able to, for us as a team, to, to kind of come together as one, uh, to kind of show the revelation that, uh, it's not the same team from last year. This this not the two and ten team. And I just kinda hope we can just improve and take it one day at a time, win the day, like Coach Free say, and not look forward to this game or that game and just take it one day at a time and one game at a time and see what happens. I'm your lucky team flag. We've gone through 14 seasons together. But in flag years, I'm like 130. Now, I'm just holding on by a red. If you've got cut rate insurance, you could be dealing with this mess yourself. So get all state, where agents keep you protected from mayhem like me. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an all state agent. Are you in good hands? Hi, I'm Katie. Yep, that Katie. Last year, I was in a hurry and didn't put my litter where it belonged. And everybody went. I got the chance to think about where my litter might end up and how it might make our beautiful state look. So I took the time and put my litter where it belonged. Then everybody went. Yay! The truth is, you're only going to get one chance to put your litter where it belongs. If you don't, you're going to get. You're going to get food. So don't get food. Pick it up, Mississippi. Hello Rebel fans, Ole Miss has teamed up with Mississippi State and Memphis this season to help Kroger fight hunger. Join us as we fight hunger together in the Million Meals Challenge. You can make a difference by picking up items at your local Kroger store for donation, making a monetary donation online at themillionmealschallenge.com, or text HUNGER to 66856. Donate to win the cup. Donate to feed the hungry. Donate for a chance to win Ole Miss gear and prizes. For more information, visit themillionmealschallenge.com and help make a difference. I am a rebel. I am a wellness rebel. I am a research rebel. A business rebel. I'm a creative rebel. A visionary. A leader. I am an innovator. I am a rebel. I am I'm a, a rebel. rebel. I, I am a rebel. rebel. I am an oldness rebel. Making a difference in the world. As fall camp comes to a close, Coach Freeze and his staff assemble the team for what has become a staple of a Hugh Freeze run program. The commitment ceremony. How we doing? Old Miss Rez, baby. Three claps, you're ready. <laughs> Welcome, 2012 commencement. Uh, it's great to see all of our families together. We're all one big family, even with uh, 
the differences that we might all have at the end of the day, if we don't come together, we'll never succeed. That's what this night is about. I've congratulated you on your uh, two weeks of work. Your attitude and your effort has been phenomenal. Some of you from the spring to be where you were when we arrived and to still be here is an a accomplishment within itself. And where we go from here is, is totally up to you. And the sky's the limit and uh, whatever you want to dream, we can achieve. So we're going to shoot big and, and dream big. But... Uh, it's going to take you committing to something uh, that's, that's bigger than yourself. And uh, that's why we're here tonight. Before we get started tonight, I hear that uh, there's a couple of you that make some, do some mean impressions of some of our coaches. Why are you laughing, Randall? Huh? You want to go first, Randall? Who you got, Bert? And who's he? Keith, all right, we got Keith Lewis and Coach Tom Allen. It wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough. Rebel Drew, it wasn't good enough, Keith. It wasn't good enough. No excuses. No. Come on, back, back. T. Come here, T. Come here, T. T. Hey, T. What grade are you in? Senior. You're a senior. What's your GPA? It's, a, it's about a 2.8. How many hours are you from graduation? Uh, I've got like five classes. Four, five. Yeah, four classes. You're about 12 hours from graduation. Who else graduated from your family? You're going to be first? Yep. I'm giving you a scholarship tonight to finish that degree. Even when things don't go your way, that's what I'm asking you to commit to. That positive image, but number one in your heart, you've got to protect this team in all your decisions. And if you choose to say you're in tonight and put this bracelet on you, I'm going to remind you, those of you who are wearing this, simply says family, old Miss Rebels, as you wear this throughout the year, I'm going to remind you of this night. When things get hard, I'm going to remind you at halftime sometimes when things are not going real well, do you remember that night? You looked me in my eyes and you said, Coach, I'm in. Don't waver on me now. Don't you waver on me now. I promise you with all that I am, I am in. And I will not waver on you guys. The culmination of fall camp is the annual Meet the Rebels Day scrimmage. A chance for the fans to get a glimpse of what the fall holds. The battle for the starting quarterback position continued. Both Bo Wallace and Barry Brunetti came out strong. Wallace would lead the Rebels both through the air as well as on the ground. Brunetti came out firing as well, hitting Dante Moncrief for a touchdown.
Freshman running back Itavius Mathers had a breakout performance, scoring three touchdowns on the day, his longest being a 58-yard run. Another running back making himself noticed was freshman Jalen Walton. One of the go-to receivers on the day was Jordan Holder, who made quite an impact over the middle. Randall Mackey made his presence known at the running back position as well. Dante Moncrief continued to be a threat in the red zone as he hauled in two touchdowns on the day. Defensively, the biggest play of the day belonged to sophomore Cody Pruitt as he intercepted Wallace and took it 100 yards for the pick six. As the scrimmage drew to a close, the Rebels seemed ready for the 2012 season to get underway. Hi, I'm Katie. Yep, that Katie. Last year, I was in a hurry and didn't put my litter where it belonged. And everybody went. I got the chance to think about where my litter might end up and how it might make our beautiful state look. So I took the time and put my litter where it belonged. Then everybody went. The truth is, you're only going to get one chance to put your litter where it belongs. If you don't, you're going to get food. You're going to get food, so don't get food. Pick it up, Mississippi. I'm a streaker. I'm 300 pounds, painted blue, and apart from the cleats, I'm completely naked. And if you've got cut rate insurance, they might not pay for this. So get all state. Mm. You can save cash and be better protected from mayhem, like me. Mayhem is everywhere. So get an all state agent. Are you in good hands? Bob? Oh, hey, Alex. Just picking up some brochures, posters, copies of my acceptance speech. Great. It's always good to have a backup plan in case I get hit by a meteor. Wow, your hair looks great. Didn't realize they did Photoshop here. Hey, good call on those mugs. Can't let them see what you're drinking. You know, I'm glad we're both running a nice, clean race. No need to get nasty. Here's your honk if you had an affair with Taylor Yard sign. Looks good. FedEx office. I am a rebel. I am a wellness rebel. I am a research rebel. A business rebel. I'm a creative rebel. A visionary. A leader. I am an innovator. I am a rebel. I am a, a rebel. rebel. I, I am a rebel. a rebel. I am an oldness rebel. Making a difference in the world. The reward for both fan and player is the opportunity to interact at the annual Meet the Rebels Day. Push it, man. Good luck to see you. Jalen, they got y'all at, the, at a freshman table or what? Yeah, what is this? Freshman table, man. Two. <laughs> two biggest guys on the team. Oh, man. yeah. And I'm Tyler. I'm Tyler. He got me by yeah. a quarter of an inch. So on film, we the same height. Oh, no, on the film, I'm a quarter of an inch taller. <laughs> we'll put you in the football show. No, don't put me in the football show. Hey, I might get out there and play a little football. Uh -huh. Hey, don't send me across the middle, Coach Freeze. <laughs> Randall, what do you think? Come on. You know, got, got a lot of fans coming out to support us. 
you know, just trying to give it back to him. That's my roommate, Jeff Scott. That's my roommate, y'all. That's not my roommate. I don't even know him. You enjoying being here? I love it here. Every single second, every single moment. I love it here. It's the best. Rebel Nation. Every day, every day. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Boy, Rebel Nation, right what's up? How y'all doing? Toddy, toddy. Let's get it. You know, I haven't coached this team in a, in a game yet, so it's really hard to tell exactly what we do have. But I do believe there are enough and a, a large percentage of our team that's ready to prove that uh, last year was not a true indication of really um, the way they desire to play football. So I'm very excited about uh, getting out this first game and, and seeing if my read on, on what I think we're, where we are is, is accurate. Uh, I think uh, the kids' effort and attitude were great. You know, our coaching staff was really cohesive. Um, I think the, the grind of camp is always a quick tale of, of kind of the, the pulse of your team as far as character and not, not happy with the injuries that we suffered, but I don't know another way to, to turn a program around than to, to be very physical in practice. So hopefully we'll get those injured guys back. And, but all in all, I think camp was a, very, very necessary step the way we did it in this first step on the journey that we're about to enter on to.